Hello, my name is Dr. Giles Yates and I'm a consultant clinical neuropsychologist. A lot of my professional role has been in the field of supporting survivors of brain injury to return back to work, be it paid or voluntary. And returning to work or a meaningful purposeful activity is an essential part of many people's journeys following their brain injury. Because we're often asked a question, be it when meeting new people or at a party, so what do you do then? And having an answer to that question is really important. Having a way to describe ourselves and put ourselves together as, as an identity often depends on our professional roles. Not for everyone, and many people have multiple eggs in their basket, so who they are is drawn from what they do at work, their role in family, their leisure activities, perhaps, their spiritual beliefs. But for many people, work is an essential aspect of life, both for economic reasons, being able to pay the bills, be able to contribute to the family pot of money and feel worthwhile. And, as I said, for professional identity, maybe up to the point of a brain injury, work has been a central aspect of someone's life with many years of training, many um, relationships forward with work colleagues over time. So when that can be taken away following a brain injury, the journey back to work can be really difficult. And indeed, research has shown that um, for the majority of survivors of brain injury, it's too difficult to return back to their pre-injury role and either unemployment or demotion is a common outcome for work. So we'll have a think about in this series of clips of um, what, what, what's, what's entailed in the journey back to work for survivors of brain injury, um, what support can be given and common challenges that are encountered by survivors.